Well, let me start first by saying, and I, I'm still catching myself doing this. I'm not good at it. After listening to Black Lives Matter and uh, uh, a dissection of the word mastery and master and masterful, I decided that I wanted to eliminate that word out of my vocabulary because I felt like the potential for us to use for that word to carry with it a frequency of energy that really has, if you look at that word, it really is sort of implied that there's a certain degree of supremacy in there. And in my attempt to try to continue to clean up our language to make it more accessible and more equitable, I removed the word mastery out of, out of hum, quantum human design. That doesn't mean I'm not still sometimes accidentally saying it. It's really hard for me to get rid of that word. But I understand why we need to shift our understanding of that word and take it out. So that was really my motivation for changing it out from mastery to self-actualization. And, and really, when you think about it, I think that's actually a better, it's actually, I think, a better way to understand the spleen anyway, because what holds us back in the shadow of the spleen is the fear of ourselves and our ability to, ma- to, to actualize our potential, right? See, it's hard to not say that word. Um, so learning, you know, finding a different way to talk about it and reframing that energy, even on a subtle level, I don't want us to have dominion over ourselves in that respect. You know, we're really here to actualize ourselves, not control ourselves to the point to where we're not working with ourselves in our highest potential. So that was my motivation and drive behind that. I just, I just have to go one little step further on that. When we try to dominate ourselves or, or take control over ourselves, what we end up doing is fighting ourselves. And I think self-actualization is a little bit of a shift on controlling your fear and dominating your fear. And it allows us to instead look at how can I activate my potential instead of fight myself so that I'm not doing those things that, you know, you're never going to get rid of fear. You're never going to get rid of those little places where you're like, <gasps> especially if it's part of your design. Right. So this gives us just a different way to work with it and integrate it instead of fighting it.